What's up, guys? Uh, so, first time tutorial. Yay! I've never done this before. I'm ready to cry already. Thanks. Uh, so, we're just gonna do a Frank and basically uh, how I recolor characters that don't look like they belong together, but somehow they make the best type of thing. I don't know. Words are words. Uh, so, first, as you can see, I started masking, or I finished basically masking Georgette. And what you want to do is obviously you have your clips of what you want to Frank and what you want to do. Um, is you know just make sure they line up together and they're they're great. I, I work backwards, so ignore me. Um, so what I did first is I masked out Georgette, but I only masked out of uh, the portion that I wanted which was her, her, um, this obviously her head and her, her little fur on her chest, her, her, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Um, so after I did that, I just, uh, messed that out for a bit and, it, uh, after I lined it up with, um, pretty it up because, you know, they're supposed to be running because Georgette scenes only exists with aggression and brattiness which is great we love that but also give our girls some content um so after that i basically just lined her to georgette's um to, to bernita's body i lined her up um using positions and just you know keyframing it so it looked like she was moving um usually for this i'll use like rotation or scale depending on how much movement is in the clips um whew. so yeah uh after that i um then took uh, just a casual mask and then i masked out um perdita's body not her body but her head so it's not in the way and it actually looks natural So when the masking is done, you can see how she looks like a part of the movie now. Well, not really, because, you know, spots are still in the way, but um, we're going to get rid of that, actually. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to effects and presets and type in change to color. And uh, I already have a setting, so I'm not going to add it, but you add it and you can copy copy off the settings I have that I will probably link in the description and from there you can just change color drop you just change the color of the base to the color of her any part of the feature that you want to match up basically and you know if you want that extra detail I don't know if I can get it here because there's spots are black but um if I can get it is um, on the duplicated layer you can go to linear key or whatever you key out your colors with and you can you can you can get you can color pick the just the, the colors that'll get you the outline I guess or like where the lines were drawn to create the you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about it's the line so wait can I I can do it I'm doing it oh uh, yay um it's not clean which is fine because you know Jenna will be there she'll block her um and yeah you just key it to whatever gets you this that gets you that look of um it looks like an outline and you can do 
you can add it the um, change the color again and just add it to either black or whatever the solid color that the character is colored by I usually use black because it's easier to blend in with the character and then when I do that I'll just add like depending on like if I wanted to say who the character I recently Frankenstein Esperanza like when I did her I would have color picked her the masking that was already made of her head when I, I did something with her and I just keyframe out the outline again and I change it to black therefore it would all kind of flow or leave it alone depending um, again, it just depends on how it looks when you do it. Um, so I'm going to leave that. I'll probably adjust it later, but um, I'll leave it for now. Um, from there is um, now you move to the more, I guess you want to say complicated, but not really complicated step. It's, it's basically um, if the character you want to do has an extra, I don't know, maybe hair or wings or whatever, is you just track it for Georgette she has her little posy thingies usually I would draw it out but I don't and I, I can't do that so <laughs> we're gonna cringe at this part and we're gonna take um just a pen tool um usually with the ones that have the shape of fill and stroke and you're just gonna create I guess what you can consider fur or you know a mess basically and from there on is just gonna line it up where the portions belong obviously belong her feet and then her I know her tail needs one and we're just gonna again push position it usually I would try to rotate so it would look like it's matching as well but like I said for this one it's kind of I have more than one in this so yeah I'm a little lazy and it's like um just gonna do it so we're gonna just chase it like her oh ooh, not look at her she's so happy jumping around all clown like we love that um <laughs> so once it is done you're done you know that's it that is that's literally it to anything and this tutorial is not really great it's a mess i i'm tired but um hopefully you you kind of get the basics of what it is mean um shout out to faye who technically really was the one who inspired me really to start doing this and you know really I'll also link her channel because she's great we love her or yeah <laughs> anyways <laughs> thanks for watching I guess and all that outro stuff um yeah that's it Bye. <laughs>